Hey everyone, this is Jake from Optimus Futures here bringing you another video. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to find the active futures and commodities markets through the Optimus Flow trading platform. Now to do this, I'm going to highlight two features that I think are personally helpful for finding active markets out there. Now the first one, which we have had on Optimus Flow for quite some time, is the heat map. In order to locate the heat map, go up to the top left hand corner of the platform window click on the Optimus Flow logo and scroll down just a bit. Under the miscellaneous section, uh, these purple icons here, you'll see MH, Market Heat Map. Feel free to favorite that by clicking the star and now you'll have it conveniently available on the toolbar of Optimus Flow. So if you go ahead and click on that, you'll see it's blank by default. Now what we changed in order to help traders is we actually gave traders the ability to filter by history. Previously, this was only in real time, so if you're looking for a snapshot of the market in the current day, it worked great for that, but we know most of our traders like to use historical data as well, and this will give you a good visual representation of markets that were active in prior days, whether it's the last day, the last week, last month, it's really up to you as to how you want to filter this. So in order to use this feature, all you need to do is first choose a symbol. This can be done in the top left corner of the market heat map window. Click on the plus button and then find the symbol you're interested in. So for example, let's say I want to add the E-mini S&P 500, the June contract. Go ahead, find it in my CME exchange and go ahead and double click. And you'll see we start to form ourselves a heat map. So if you click a plus button again, we could start to add symbols that we'd like to get an active heat map for. So we could go ahead and add the NQ, for example. Maybe we want to add the Dow. And you know, this is pretty much pure customization. So feel free to add the contracts you'd like in order to, you know, get a good gauge of the different markets out there. Now, as you can see, they're all represented in different colors, of course. This basically reflects the change that is occurring within these cells. Now, if you want to remove a symbol, you can go ahead and right click. You can add more symbols through this way. You can remove selected or you can clear all. Uh, there is a view mode as well. And there's different aesthetic appearances you can customize. So right now we're in a cell tree or we could do a tree map as well which gives you just a different view on this. Uh, you don't have to right click to do this. You can actually come up to the top left and where it says tree map right now, you can click cells instead. So it really depends on how you want to display it. Next up, we have what you want it filtered by. So right now you can see we're displaying our heat map by volume. Most traders, if you want to get a gauge of the market, yes, volume is a good tool to see how active a particular commodity or market is. But if you want to see how active the market really is, change percentage is a good way to gauge that. And you can see when we adjust the change percentage, all of this becomes red. So that you can see, and if we just look at our charts, the market is, you know, going in a downtrend right now. It's showing you that at least on the NQ, it's down by almost 1%, almost 75% on the Dow, and almost 65% down on the ES for today. Now again, previously, the heat map was specifically filtered to one day at a time. But what we recently added is the ability to filter by history. So you can go ahead and click where it says real time, click the drop down menu and adjust by history. And when you do this, you now see you have the option to filter by history. So, you know, we look at today's date on Windows, it's April 22nd. So now we're looking at the previous day. You can see it was up almost by a whole percentile on each of these different products here, each of these different markets. So you can click the actual date and get yourself a calendar and filter based on that calendar. And, you know, this is historical data, so it may take a second to load. So just give it time, depending on how far back you want to look at. But eventually, this data will load in, and it will give you an accurate reflection of either the change percentage or the volume for that particular day. Of course, you can click the arrows, too, um, to load up different data for that day. 
So feel free to click through on historical days if you like um, and get, you know, the date you'd like to display data for. Let's say I want to display data for Monday of this week. Go ahead and click on that and you can see the comparison on the heat map. And of course, it visually shows you, depending on the change, the color associated with it. Red, of course, is down, is a down day. Green is, you know, an uptrending day. And the more grayscale it is, the less change. So you can see, obviously, the almost 1% change is a lot brighter red than our 0.36 change. So the closer it is to a grayscale, the more even or the more flat the day was, if, if you'd like to describe it that way. Basically, the closer you get to 0%, the more gray it becomes. If it's solid gray, it didn't change at all. Now, of course, you can go into settings as well. And you could see, like I mentioned, middle values as we describe it, or you know, the closer to zero, the grayer it gets. A low value or negative day is red, of course. And then high values or positive days are green. You can show the or customize the text color as well. And then, of course, if you want to adjust any of those settings, those are all available through this menu as well. Now, piggybacking on this feature, we've actually recently added to the top toolbar of Optimus Flow a ticker tape. Now, I think in conjunction with the market heat map and the ticker tape, this will give you a really good glance at all the markets in one convenient location. And similar to the heat map, you could see percentile change right through the ticker tape. So if you're a trader that only focuses on a couple of markets, go ahead and in the top right, uh, excuse me, the top of the platform on the toolbar that runs across the top of your screen, go ahead and right click that and click on edit ticker tape. So you'll see we have an items customizer and you can go ahead and change what you want it to be displayed by. And of course the symbols you want displayed. So you basically have the real estate between your favorite icons on the left, all the way to your alerts on the right. So feel free to load up uh, your toolbar here with as many symbols that can actually aesthetically fit within this window and will allow you basically a quick glance or quick glance at a heat map or watch this, whatever you'd like to describe it straight from your toolbar and Optimus Flow. So just to give you an idea of how this works, Let's say I want to add these same three symbols. I'll go ahead and add the June contracts for the ES, the YM, and of course the NQ. Go ahead and you can click apply. Or again, right now we're in change percentage on my heat map. So if we do the same and go ahead and click apply. Once you click apply, the only thing left to do is actually enable the ticker tape. So whether you do this first or last, make sure when you're ready to start seeing these symbols and once you've added the symbols in the change or change percentile that you like to display, right click one more time and go up to view and enable ticker tape. By default, this is not enabled. So if we left click ticker tape, as you can see, we now basically have a snapshot of the three markets we're interested in right at the top of the platform. So you can essentially use this interchangeably with the watch list that we have on our default layout, or like I did here, the market heat map. Now, of course I did a historical market heat map. So if I go in real time, you could see it's essentially the same changes in percentile. And what's nice about the watch list, or excuse me, the ticker tape on the top is you also see the current market price. So if you are trading multiple products at the same time, and maybe you only have one monitor to utilize, this is a good way to keep an eye on multiple markets at one time, see the change or the change percentile, see the market price, and get an idea of what's going on at one click glance. So again, this video was to help our traders find the active futures and commodity markets through the Optimus Flow trading platform. And as you can see today, we've gone over the new market heat map update and the new ticker tape we've added to the Optimus Flow toolbar. So with both of these, I think this will give you guys a good idea of how to view the market with one click glance. And hopefully this makes it convenient for you. 
I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, please come to our community forum. It'll be linked down in the description below and feel free to join in on the comment section below as well. Have a great day and thanks for watching.